innovation has historically been the major contributor to economic growth. Uh, and also it is a way of improving levels of productivity, which is another feature of the current economic environment is underperformance in productivity gains. In the Global Innovation Index, we seek to measure the innovation capacity and performance of, well, 130 countries around the world. Why is this important? Well, one major reason is that the world is in a prolonged period of, let's say, uh, economic underperformance, uh, and we are searching for solutions. Everyone is searching for solutions for this, and innovation is certainly one of the key solutions to this underperformance. The theme of this year's Global Innovation Index is winning through global innovation with the emphasis on the global because many national policies are really oriented towards national innovation but we do notice that of course innovation has increasingly a global character in that economic agents from different countries are involved uh, and we want to emphasize that this is a positive thing uh, this enables the benefits of innovation to be shared, the capacity for innovation also to be augmented through these collaborations that occur, uh, for which there is a great deal of evidence uh, available. China itself makes innovation a key part of its economic strategy in general, going from made in China to created in China, and innovation is the key to that transition in the whole Chinese economy. But China is a very good innovation performer. Its capacity has consistently improved. This year in the 2016 Global Innovation Index, it enters the top 25 in the rankings and it will be the first middle income developing country to do so. So this is an, uh, an outstanding performance.